Wiley. We're gonna go see Mixed Ink today. All right, let's All go. Right. Choose kind over cool. At the heart of Mixed Ink, it's, it's basic entrepreneurship um, skills, but not just that, it's helping these kids kind of understand how to identify problems like in their life um, and solve them. Hey, can I ask a couple questions? Yes, ma'am. So these are brilliant ideas. Where did those come from? So for the furniture <laughs> one, really in the classrooms, these chairs are not very comfortable. And I notice every single day, like I can like crack my back in the chairs <laughs> because they hurt my back so much. And they're just in general not comfortable. So I thought that that could be innovated. And also they're not very efficient for space either because all the backpacks are everywhere and like, yeah. yeah. So you saw a problem and you found a way to fix it. The thing that I love about this curriculum, it is outside of the box thinking. So I'm not just giving them information. Um, they actually, I'm giving them maybe some ideas to think about and they're coming up with their own information and their own experiences from it. So it's a lot of fun to teach. Mr. Rodriguez, we have some student techs here today. We do. So Mr. Rod Rodriguez, do you want to tell us a little bit about what our students are doing here today? Yes, uh, right now uh, we're parting out some computers, uh, especially like the keyboards, because we're out of keyboards. So we're parting the devices out, and whatever parts are good, we're going to repurpose for the other laptops as they come in. So what made you want to do this program? Um, I originally just wanted to help teachers because it kind of satisfies me. And I also wanted to learn more about technology when I found out that I was going to be doing it here. So I just wanted to learn more about technology and be more social with other kids um, and just help out at the school. What kinds of learning experiences do you think the students who are in the, the tech support get from uh, this program? The first one is saying hello to the person when they walk in. Uh, and that's uh, that form of communication, make them feel welcome. And then they uh, troubleshooting as to what the problem could be uh, by eliminating a lot of playing 20 questions with the student. When did it last work? What, what did you do last? Did you charge it last night? And then they go through the troubleshooting steps of trying to resolve the issue and then, uh, resolving, it, then resolving it and giving it back to the kids. And assume your position at the Constitutional Convention. Congratulations, Representative. The responsibility of these fine young people is to create a government for this class. Your fate is now in their hands. What type of government does your community have? Um, so the definition of your government type, um, how do leaders become leaders, what makes the decision in the government, and how does the government raise the money? Our government is going to be, everybody is allowed to vote, but you must be 21. We're also going to go man-led. So personally, I do not agree with the man-led government. Um, I think that women bring such a presence to um, what we have to offer. I think men have great um, ideas, but also women do, and I think they bring a lot to the table. For example, we have Miss Hodges, our amazing principal. She's our female principal, has done so much through our COVID years and so much through everything, and has brought us an amazing school. Um, and I think there's just a lot of things that women can bring to the table that men can't, just like men can bring a lot to the table that women can't. All right, so talk to us a little bit about um, how you came up with this lesson. Yeah, so we are, uh, we're about to start the unit on the Constitution um, and, and the government unit. So it really was uh, just kind of a way to introduce the idea of a representative government, creating a government from scratch, um, to kind of make it hit home a little bit when we actually dig into the content. Yeah, so what's that done for their engagement level, you feel like? I think, uh, well, right now they seem to be engaged or connecting with the ideas of what a perfect society looks like, which is where we started. Um, and then, you know, there, there's obviously some debate and some discussion going on and, and hopefully some pride for their state and some lobbying and convincing for them to really um, include what's best for their state. And uh, so I'm hoping that there's some discourse and disagreement and that we all kind of learn about compromise and, and these things that are necessary for, for civics. Our government is a representative democracy. Uh, they have the right to vote uh, just above the age of 18. I think that people should vote over the age of 19 instead of 18. Well, I do agree with the uh, voting age for like a real government. I thought we were talking about the classroom, so I decided to put 13 or above can vote. But I agree with everything else. <laughs> I'm going to be on YouTube. Like and subscribe. <laughs>